Hey YouTubers, you see Weapon back again with another Trackmaster review and we have Trackmaster Stafford. Now, according to what I found out online, he is a battery powered locomotive and I can't seem to find any cab windows on him. So, I'd expect the driver and fireman to hang out of the doors to see where they're going like on some type of steam engine but other than that he looks like a box with wheels that's the first thing my son said when he saw it there's dad it looks like a box and I have to agree there's nothing really to make it outstanding it's quite a large engine too it is easily as wide as a truck and taller I'll bring a truck close so you can see definitely wide and tall now, I'm not sure in the show how big he's going to be if he'll be narrow gauge or standard gauge but this is just a massive, massive engine in the Trackmaster range and I'm keen to see how it runs and how it can pull things if it can pull things at all so let's go ahead and put a battery in him okay so without the shell it's as you'd expect the flat type drive unit with the addition of a spring which I think is the same as 2012 diesel I cannot remember exactly I have to go back through my videos and have a look maybe you can let me know in the comments but I can guarantee a spring is cheaper than a plate of steel because there is less metal in it and when you're making thousands and thousands of units a small cost cut like that can make quite a difference underneath says what does it say is it upside down 2012 Mattel made in China which is different for I believe they are what made in Thailand for quite some years now let's fit a battery and see how it goes Alright, so here he is with a battery fitted and we'll have a listen quite quiet that whining you can hear is salty with his six trucks he's still powering around and hasn't come off the rails yet so yeah this one is quite quiet so I'm quite happy with that let's put him back together and give him his first run okay so here is Trackmaster Stafford with the battery fitted on his first ever run he is pulling the single truck that came with Victor and will be going on the inside track and he's silent which is quite amazing because these drive units are generally quite whiny and he looks quite good although he is massively big he still kind of looks like a box oh reliability problems already let's have a look what happened there okay he just barely fits under the bridge so I don't know if he hit the bridge on the way past and that sent him off or he didn't agree with the points the way they were set we'll see what happens next time although now Salty is closing in on him quite quickly we'll see if Stafford is faster than Salty Yeah, another review I watched early on who 
a fellow YouTuber who acquired Stafford. He made some comments about the plastic being quite flimsy. Well, I have to say it's probably the same as about usual. It doesn't seem any more flimsy than it regularly is. Which I suppose would say that all Trackmaster plastic is pretty flimsy these days. And we made it around that time. Something's happened and it seems now they're running the opposite direction. I did not see what happened there. I suspect a point was set the wrong way. Seems they were going straight instead of turning in this section. Got to keep an eye on things like that. Sorry about that. Running back where they should be now. So yeah. I think it's not bad. There's some okay detailing. But still, this seems to me like a box on wheels with a motor. But I suppose that's what a lot of locomotives are these days in real life anyway. Yeah, I think it's worth the purchase. I know they're not in stores yet. This seems to be a pre-production sample or a early run error. I'm not sure which one it is, but somehow they seem to turn up quite early on eBay for sale, months and months before they appear in stores. If you like it, then buy it, but it's nothing really special. Doesn't set my imagination on fire, but um, yeah. Gonna leave it there today, guys. Thanks for watching.